In this video, we will learn the descriptive and tabular form of a set. In descriptive form, we can describe the property of a set by a statement. For example, here we have described the property of set A by the statement that set A is equal to the set of English books in the library. And similarly, B is equal to the set of natural numbers and C is equal to the set of animals in zoo. In the three examples, we have described the property of the three sets by statements. Now, let's see how we can represent a set in tabular form. In tabular form, we list all elements within brackets that are curly brackets and separate each element by using a comma. Now, let's see the examples. In example 1, for a less number of elements, we have represented set A by a less number of elements that are 1, 2, 5 written in curly brackets and separated by commas and in example 2 these are finite but more numbers that are the set of numbers between 1 and 500 here these dots represent the numbers that are between 3 and 500 and in example 3 for an unlimited numbers of elements we have written the set c and its elements are in curly brackets separated by commas 1, 2, 3 and up to so on. These dots represent that these elements are infinite.